Uh, we are here at the Julian Farm and Orchard Daffodil Days. You can see daffodils behind me, they're yellow. Uh, there's a whole bunch of those guys. Um, there's also a uh, Revolutionary War reenactment happening that way. It's happening over there that way. Okay, so we are here at the uh, American camp, if you can show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got all sorts of guys here doing stuff. So uh, what is what, what are you doing here? I'm, I'm the Col Colonial Continental American Artillery Sergeant. I'm in charge of the Amer American Artillery. So our, that, we got the cannons up on the battlefield. Oh, we saw those cannons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's, that's like your job? Yeah. Right. And what are you, what are you eating here? Uh, well, right now, bacon, muffin. That's what's left of it. Yeah, right, right. Is this like a normal lunch that you fellows uh, it's would be? Whatever I cobble together. <laughs> right, that makes sense. Is it hard to get food out here? No, not really. Just not really. You boy, your boys are working hard out yeah. here. We scrounge. And you scrounge. <laughs> okay, okay. Would you say is the, is the American food better or is the British food better? About the same. It's about the same. the same. Thing, it's scrounging. They're scrounging. Right, right, right. You guys, you guys winning yet? Or? Uh, I don't know. We haven't had the engagement yet. Haven't had the engagement. Is there going to be an engagement? Yeah, we'll, 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 about an hour or so. Oh, okay. Where the cannons are at? That okay. We'll probably be there then, and we'll see what happens. I personally, I have no idea what's going to be happening, but it, it, it might be pretty crazy. It, it can be. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet. Are you guys going to like stand in a line and, and do the? Well, do the, the infantry's going to do their thing, and I'm, I do artillery, so I'm doing cannons. Right. Right. So I got my job with the artillery, and the infantry commander runs the infantry. Okay, well, uh, all I'm doing is shooting at them. Right, <laughs> we're counting on you, sir. Okay. I'll do what I can. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Are still here at the American camp, and uh, as you can see, there's somebody over there. There's a big man with a hat. It looks like it's uh, General George Washington is back there. Okay, we're going. Okay, we have gotten closer. As you can see, he is in that tent. We're really close. I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna get in there, and we're gonna get an interview with uh, that guy. Okay? Okay, let's do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. He looked right at me. He looked right at me. Okay, we're in here. We're getting closer. Excuse me, sir. Can we get an interview? Is that cool? Yes, of course. Abs yes, absolutely. This is my device. You don't have to worry about that. I'm at your service, sir. Okay, this thing is for sound. It's called a microphone. Okay, so so uh, so what are, you, what are you doing here? Well, sir, we've just arrived in camp, but this is my headquarters. Uh, this is where we are situated for the time being here. We are encamped before we anticipate any activity with the British, which mm -hmm. may occur later today. Right, um, in about an hour, I heard from uh, one of the artillery boys down there. Where did you get that uh, intelligence? You said artillery? Oh yeah, one of the artillery guys. He's, he just told me. Indeed. He just told me. You I'd always ask. trust the intelligence you get from just any random stranger. You must uh, be sure that you're right. getting it from a source that is trustworthy. That is tr trustworthy. What would you consider to be a, uh, trustworthy sources? Well, I would say that I employ people specifically in the, uh, the arts of collecting intelligence whenever possible. I see, and that's that's very important to you? Uh, very much so, sir. I, in fact, very little can be accomplished without good intelligence. But besides that, I can also say that uh, we know amongst uh, many of the people locally uh, who are patriots and who are not. Right, of course. Um, so are you able to, to divulge anything about your uh, plans today? Well, I wouldn't want to uh, tip our hand mm -hmm. as far as uh, the battles that will be coming up. But uh, I will say that we feel that we do have the uh, numerical superiority today. Right. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, another question we have, of course, if you're not comfortable with it, you don't have to answer. How are those teeth doing? Well, so that is a rather personal question. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know who began some of these unusual rumors mm -hmm. uh, that have circulated about, I believe it's the British newspapers. Right. Uh, Great, I have had uh, great difficulty with my teeth in the past, and I have mm -hmm. to send for my teeth uh, to different dentists at different times. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the teeth that I have now are serving me very well. What are they made out of? Well, sir, they are made out of some hippopotamus ivory. I don't know if you are aware of that. It's an exotic animal, of, uh, not, like not a, of this right, continent. Right. 
and uh, also some ivory uh, of other types. Well, there are some cow's teeth that have been ground down, some human teeth that I have purchased, and some that is made of metal. Do you know which people the teeth are from? Uh, I do not know specifically, sir. I paid my dentist who collected uh, from some who were willing to mm -hmm. sell their teeth. Are you aware they may be British teeth? Is that is that a risk that you're just okay with? Uh, well, we were all British at one time, sir. That makes sense. That's a good answer. Okay, thank you, Mr. General George Washington. Thank you so much for this discussion. My name is Jacob for East County Magazine. It's been a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Thank you very much. Okay, that was good. Let's get out of here. So besides the daffodils and the uh, Revolutionary War reenactment thing, there's other stuff to do here. As you can see, there's axe throwing. There's people throwing axes over there. That was kind of fun. There's also a rock climbing wall. What? Uh, let's just walk over here. We're going to go look at the rock climbing wall. So we're going uh, over here, and there is a rock climbing wall with the axe throwing. Now, that looks pretty high. Personally, I'm too scared to even climb that. I would never even dream of such a thing. Um, but yes, now, I'm hearing sheep off the distance, and uh, I want to go see what, what, what the source of that sound is. So we're going we're gonna to go try and find some sheep, okay? So it was, in fact, not a sheep, but it was actually a goat. That's right, they have goats here. Uh, they also have chickens. Now, of course, personally, we are not crossing this fence because we don't want these bad boys getting chewed on. But um, yeah, they got goats and stuff here. You can go in there, you can pet them, you can feed them. Now, that sounds like a fantastic time.